Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Strip, 13-time member of the U.S. World Championship veteran team. Here at the 2019 Arnold Fencing Classic, we're about to begin the gold medal bout in our U19 Women's Foil event. On the right side of your screen, Celia Crompton from Franklin, Michigan, Renaissance Fencing Club. On the left side of your screen, Laney Masick from Columbus, Ohio, Fencing for the Royal Arts Fencing Academy. Our fencing official is about to call the fencers on guard for this 15-touch gold medal bout. This being a final bout, the... Uh, the fencers uh, are allowed video challenges, so they each get two video challenges if they question the officials' calls. This is foil, so the target area is the uh, silver lame that the fencers are wearing. There's also a right-of-way rule in foil, so the fencer who starts an attack has the right to finish the attack and score unless that attack misses or is parried. That those things happen, then the right way switches to the other fencer. So these fencers must be keenly aware at all times of uh, who has the right way. All touches must be scored with the point. There's a depressible tip uh, that requires 500 grams of pressure in order to turn on the scoring light. And here we go in this 15-touch bout. Miss Crompton coming forward showing uh, herself to be the aggressor early on. Now backing off. Masik, the uh, left-handed fencer. This is a lefty-righty matchup. Some right-handers have trouble with left-handed fencers. We'll see whether that's true of Miss Crompton. She's looking for blade control. She finishes, and she gets the touch. Long attack, it's parried, repost arrives. Touch left. This Crompton attack with the long attack, but Miss Masick parried that. He got the repost touch. Masick uh, coming forward, now backing off, makes uh, an attack into preparation. It's off target on the leg. Crompton, Compton coming forward, looking for blade control. Masik with the long attack that arrives. Masik with the one touch lead. Compton coming forward, looking for blade control. Let's just do that to avoid the counter attack. She finishes and the attack arrives. By taking the blade, she's showing continuing control of the action that she has the right way, then she finished, gets the touch. Masik with a beat attack that misses. Compton with the counter attack that arrives. Masik coming forward. She'll be looking to hit that long attack again. That time she was picked up in preparation. Series of blade contacts and an off target. Masik would like to land that long left-handed attack under the arm, but she has to be careful coming forward of the counterattack. Yeah. Our referee sees that as attack arrived. I think Miss Masik believed that she actually parried that, and it was her repost off target. But she did not challenge. I don't think she's realizing that she has a video challenge that she can make. There's an attack from the left off target. Masik concerned with the probable counterattack. Looks for blade control, but doesn't finish the attack. Ends up getting parry reposted. <coughs> Masik with a three touch deficit to make up. She needs to find something that will work here as far as landing attacks. She could go back and be defensive like she's being now, and perhaps Miss Compton will play into that and continue to attack her, but Masik's got to get a repost out of it. Or a counterattack or something. Masik uh, changing tactics, being defensive now, even, even though she's behind. So she's looking to get a defensive touch here, and there she does. She got just what she wanted. 
There are some fencing coaches who would say, why is Miss Compton attacking in a situation where she's ahead by three touches? She doesn't need to. But she did. There's another pair of posts by Masick, but it's off target. All right, Masick's still down. She still has to come forward. And she's uh, trying to find a way to get past the uh, defense of Miss Compton, who's ahead by two touches and can afford to be defensive if that's what she wants to do. And it looks like that is what she wants to do. 30 seconds left in the first three-minute period. There are three three-minute periods in a foil bound. There's an, a, an attempted attack into preparation. It's Perry. No repose. Compton looking for blade control. That's what she did when she scored her first touch. Got control of the blade and just held it and then finished. And there's a pair of post off target. The period is running down. I don't think the fencers are going to try anything at this point. I think that they will dance around and the period will come to an end, which it has. Now they can take a one-minute break, receive coaching, drink some water, try to think about what they should do next. Obviously, Miss Masick and her coach have uh, some considerations here. They have to find a way, if Miss Masick's going to catch up here, they have to find a way to attack and get the point past the defense of Miss Compton, past the counterattack, and then land it. Miss Masick does have a long attack if she can just find a way to find an open line to put it into. On the other hand, Miss Compton is ahead by two touches. She doesn't have to come forward if she doesn't want to. She can stay back, be defensive, force Miss Masick to come forward, and then look for a pair of post or a counterattack. All right, our fencing official is calling the fencers back on guard for the second three-minute period in this 15-touch gold medal bout in the Youth 19 Women's Foil event here at the 2019 Arnold Fencing Classic. On the right side of the screen, Celia Compton of Franklin, Michigan. On the left side, Lainey Masick of Columbus, Ohio. Masick with a two-touch deficit to make up. Can she do it? She gets hit in preparation. She comes forward, and she gets hit with the preparation. Her arm was up in the air, and Miss Compton simply attacked into it, got a one-light touch. Compton now with a three-touch lead. There's another attempted attack into preparation. This time it's Perry reposted. Well, wait a minute. Our fencing official sees that as as a uh, off target. I th thought that was a Perry repost, but perhaps not. No, no video replay was requested. Long attack. It misses. A series of remises. And uh, remise from the right off target. Masick needs to score a touch here somehow. It didn't work. What she chose there was she started an attack, then she backed up, tried to parry, but didn't put it on. Masick concerned about how to finish her attacks against this this counter-attacking defense. Miss Compton is just waiting for that preparation and then she's attacking into it. And she's doing it very effectively. Attack no. Compton gets the counter-attack. Right, Compton's just waiting for the attack to start. Then she's stepping in with the counter-attack. It's an unpleasant situation to be down by three or four touches in a gold medal bout when you have to come forward. You have to find a way to hit the opponent, and the opponent is just counterattacking. But that's the challenge. There's still a lot of time left, only in the second period. It looks like Masik is now trying to wait for that attack into preparation and try to parry it, which is not a bad strategy but it would be better if she could find a way to actually hit some attacks. Our fencing official sees that as a 
attack from the right. Miss Masick believes that she parried that. She asked for a video replay on it. And we'll see what happens with that. I thought some of the earlier ones, uh, perhaps uh, she might have had a chance with the video. On this one, I don't know. There was some blade contact, but it wasn't very strong. So we'll see. The fencing officials are discussing the matter right now. Let's see what uh, the call is going to be. The call stands. The fencing official uh, upholds his original call. And now there's a question as to uh, how many video replays the fencers have remaining. Miss Masick has one remaining. She's used one. The, the opponent, uh, Miss Compton, has two remaining, and she's used none. Again, our fencing official sees this as attack from the right. Miss Masick did get some blade contact there, and it looked like she was holding on to the blade, but it could be said that the repost wasn't in time, and the remise arrived. Apparently, that's what the fencing official saw, but it was similar enough action to the last one that Miss Masick didn't want to waste the video replay on it. Counterattack works for Miss Masick. One light. Now, that's useful for her. But a five-touch deficit is a lot in a foil bout. Counter parry arrives from the right. Compton with a six-touch lead. Back into preparation, arrives from the right. I thought it was short, actually, and the first one didn't arrive, but there's no challenge on it. Masik with the one light it was kind of a counterattack that ended up as a pre fair, but it worked. However, Miss Masik needs to hit attacks coming forward. She needs to find a way to do that to have a any chance of getting back into the bout. And she's just not sure what to do. And then she uh, ends up getting parried as she comes forward or hit in preparation. That time she parried the attack into preparation, but the repost was off target. There's a, uh, an attack, it's parried, counter parry. They, they all miss until finally a remise arrives from Miss Massick. She gets a one light, that's what she needs. But she needs a lot of them now. Compton being more patient now, as she should be. It's the parry repost. That was a clean parry repost that time. A big sweeping counter six, and it worked. All right, Masik looks like she wants to run out the period and get some more coaching here. Compton not sure if she wants to run out the period, but she takes advantage of getting the one-minute break. So here we are, end of second period. Defensers once again with a one-minute break. They're both receiving coaching. And we'll see what they do in the third and final period. Miss Compton only three touches away from the gold medal. All right, the one-minute break is over. Our fencing official is calling the fencers back on guard for this third and final three-minute period in this Youth 19 Women's Foil gold medal match. Miss Celia Compton of Franklin, Michigan, on the right side of the screen. On the left side, Laney Massick of Columbus, Ohio. Miss Compton with a commanding six-touch lead. Miss Massick has to score... Lots of touches in a row. She goes for a beat attack. Doesn't get there. Compton, feeling pretty confident with this six-touch lead, looks like she's going to try to land an attack coming forward. She actually stopped her attack. Wait a minute. That's, that looked like Miss Compton actually stopped her attack completely, and then Massa hit off target, and then Compton remised. But... Uh, no challenge on it, so we move forward. 
Now there's a one light repost by Miss Massick. Massick with another beat attack, but she doesn't land it. And the uh, reply off target. Massick with another beat attack. It misses behind the back. Counterattack arrives. And Miss Compton is one touch away from the gold medal. Let's see what Miss Compton does. She can pretty much do what she wants. It looks like she'd like to come forward and score an attack coming forward. Let's see if she can do it. Let's see if she does that hesitation move again. There's a pair of posts. And uh, Miss Compton comes forward, doesn't really do the, quite the same hesitation, does a series of staccato steps, gets parried, and uh, Masik hits the repost. So Compton going back to the defensive style. She wanted to come forward and hit one, but the defensive style is working, so why not stay with it? Oh, there she comes again. Nope. Masik beat attack arrives. One light. So Masik's clawing back into it, but it's a mountain to climb. Compton coming forward, then backing off. She's going to be looking for attacks into preparation or counterattacks. Masik with the uh, beat attacks, which is not a bad strategy uh, that she and her coach worked out to try to avoid those attacks into preparation. Masik misses. Compton's turn if she chooses to make an attack, but she looks like she's backing off and looking for that counterattack. And she did get the counterattack, but it's off target. All right, here comes Masik. What can she do? Beat attack is off target. Still time if Masik could get a real, real run of things here. The attack missed. Counter off target. Masik looks for blade control, does that little beat attack, which has been working for, her, but it's off target. On the arm. Our fencing official sees that as Prise de Fair attack from the right and awards the touch to Miss Compton, which will get her the gold medal, but there's been a video challenge on this, so we'll see if this holds up. The uh, video challenge here by Miss Masick on that touch. If the video official maintains, his, if the, the, the video official and the, and the referee agree with the call, it will stand, and then Miss Compton will be the gold medalist. I think it will stand. Oh, wait a minute. We're seeing uh, a reversal here. We're seeing a reversal. This time the uh, video official sees that there was a pair of posts by Miss Masick, and then she was off target, so no touch. And the score goes back to 14-9. Uh, An interesting turn of events. What can Miss Masick make of it? The beat attack is no. The one light counterattack arrives. Touch for the right. And Miss Celia Compton is the gold medalist.